Come on, uh, you've always had on your show quite a few times. Well, I think it was once, but I saw so many clips from it. Um, your interview with Sonny, and me and you have spoken about Sonny before, Sean, but obviously her life's gone downward again since we've spoken. Um, what's your thoughts on the predicament she's been in? And looks like she's been locked up now for a death by accident or death by car, whatever it is. Well, the, you know, there's three endings to a story like that. I just did something with the guys from... Um, I guess Barstool Sports are doing a little documentary about her. So I, she's for, she's a local girl from the area here. I knew her before our shows. And, um, you know, they're, they're one of three endings that that happen to a story like that, a, a story of severe addiction. It's 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 the death of oneself, injury or death of another or resurrection you know, uh, or, or turning it around. And, you know, you always hope for that third one. You always hope that the person could turn it around. And we had Tammy on the first time we had Tammy on uh, was we did, we did some stuff with her beforehand, but the first uh, full show, she was on our countdown show wrestling's most where we do segments, but our, our first full show with us was a you shoot. And we got a call a couple of days before we were going to shoot from her and her boyfriend. And they said, we are literally packing to take her to rehab. So she can't do the show, but, the day she comes out, we will let you know what that is. And you have a set somewhere and we'll come and we'll do that. The day. And that's exactly what happened. She, she went away, which was fine with me. It's, you know, serious stuff we're dealing with. And uh, when she came out the day after she appeared on you shoot clean, funny, open, uh, talked about every orifice that she um, offered to her boyfriend and the other men in the business, no stone <laughs> left unturned. A, a, a lot was unearthed. Uh, I'm sure uh, the Hart family didn't appreciate hearing Davy Boy had been there. Nobody knew about that until she was on our show. And, and I was kind of like, oh, boy, there's some phone calls I'm going to have to take. Like when uh, Roddy Piper talked about Pat Patterson out in Los Angeles. Oh, night. shit. Yeah, okay, that was yeah. our show, Renee. Yeah, that was my yeah. show. Uh, so uh, it didn't help that he was 16 at the time. So you know you, you prepare for that stuff and you you say uh, uh hopefully the wrestler's recollection isn't always a hundred percent and maybe they got the facts wrong but tammy came on tammy was great she was entertaining tammy's one of those ones she's a worker to the bone man she knows exactly what to do when the light comes on she knows exactly how to position herself in the business so she did that show. She went on her way. At some point after that, there's another arrest, domestic violence, and she goes away. Uh, she gets out of jail and rehab, and uh, she comes on a show we had called Breaking Kayfabe, where it's, you know, the character, the wrestling stuff is stripped away, and it's just me and the guest in a much more intimate setting talking about their life and their struggles, if, if they are. And so she came on, and I think that that one's on YouTube uh, right now on our uh, Out of the Vault channel. Um, and uh, she was clean and sober again. It, ironically, all the times I worked with her, I got her right out of jail. So it was perfect. She was she was she was in she was fit to work. Should have done that with right. Buff. Um, right. So uh, she was perfect. She was great. She it, you know, she was going back to school. It, it was very optimistic. Um, I shook her hand in the end and I said, good luck. You're going to need it. Wow. And, uh, and, uh, and it, uh, of course, we all know uh, where we are today with it. And uh, she's going to have no choice but to clean up now. She's, got, she's going away. There's, there's no way around that. And it's not going to be a short amount of time. Unfortunately, right. she couldn't get that together before, uh, before an innocent soul was lost. And that's, that's part of the tragedy now. That is Tammy Sitch. Whew. Yeah, it's a... Uh... It's a sad state of affairs, but... Pro Wrestling Noah, July 16, Nippon Budokan. Keiji Muto's chosen venue, the Nippon Budokan. The first fight of his retirement streak. The challenger, Supernova Kaito Kiyomiya. Don't miss Keiji Muto's retirement run. Kano challenges New Japan Pro Wrestling Satoshi Kojima for Noah Gold, the GHC Heavyweight Championship. 
And Ninja Mac is back! On top of that, Rob Van Dam in a hardcore rules match! International stream on Wrestle Universe!